Take 73. One unavoidable downside to cycling. No, it's not. Take 74. Sorry. Never trust the video team. One unavoidable downside to cycling is the dreaded flat tire. Fortunately, a few quick steps will have you up and on your way in no time. To fix a flat, you're gonna need a spare tube, tire levers, either a floor pump or a CO2 inflator, and a seat bag to keep it all in. You can find all the tools you need at your local Trek retailer or on trekbikes.com. We're going to fix a flat rear tire, but the process is basically the same for both the front and rear tires. Start by removing the wheel. First, shift the chain to the hardest gear, which is on the smallest cog. Then, release the brakes. How you release the brakes depends on what type of brakes you have. Most road bikes have a brake release lever that will release brake tension. For disc brakes, there's nothing extra you need to do. Disc pads are fixed and the disc will move in and out between the pads. Next, open the quick release. Gently pull the rear derailleur towards you to slide the wheel out of the dropouts. If your bike has through axles, you will need to unthread the axle until you can easily pull the entire axle out of the frame. Then the wheel can be easily removed. Set the bike down on the non-drive side. Once the wheel's off the bike, start near a spoke and use the scoop end of your tire lever to grab the edge of the tire and work it over the edge of the rim. Attach the hooked end of the tire lever to the nearest spoke. Use the scooped side of your second tire lever to work more of the tire over the edge of the rim. Once you have a few inches over the rim, work your way around the rest of the wheel to completely remove one side of the tire from the rim. Remove the valve nut. Push the tire near the valve stem away from the rim, pull the valve stem out of the wheel, and then remove the rest of the tube. There's no sense in adding a new tube if the cause of the flat is still in your tire. So first, check to make sure the tire is clear of debris. Visually inspect the outside of the tire and carefully run your fingers through the inside of the tire, feeling for anything sharp. Remove anything that could cause another flat. Sometimes glass or other small sharp objects can cause a flat, so use caution when you're inspecting the inside of the tire. If you don't find anything, you may have a pinch flat. Pinch flats occur when an underinflated tire hits a square-edged bump. The tire can get pinched between the rim and the bump, causing a flat. Now that we've checked our tire and removed any flat-causing culprits, we can replace the tube. When you remove the tube from your seat pack, it's going to be flat. It can be hard to place a flat tube in a wheel, so inflate it with just enough air to give it some shape. Start back at the valve stem hole, insert the valve stem, and work your way around the tire, tucking the tube under the tire all the way around. Now that the tube is in place, let's get the tire seated back in the rim. The tightest part of the tire is next to the valve stem, so starting there, use both thumbs to push the edge of the tire back onto the rim. Continue using your thumbs to tuck the tire back onto the rim, working your way around the wheel. The tire will get tighter as you work your way around. While your thumbs are the best tool for this job, if they're just not cutting it, gently use the scooped end of the tire lever to press the rest of the tire back inside the rim. But be careful not to damage the tube with the lever. We'll want to give one last check to make sure that the tube isn't pinched between the tire and the rim. Do this by gently pushing the tire to the side as you work your way around the rim and look for any obvious pinches. Reinstall the valve stem nut. Using your pump, reinflate the tire. The flat is now fixed and it's time to get the wheel back onto the bike. Put the rear wheel back in the frame and set the chain on the small cog. Pull the derailleur back out of the way and let the wheel slip into the dropouts. If you have disc brakes, make sure the disc is inserted between the fixed pads. Insert the axle through the frame and hub and then thread it in and close the lever. If you have a quick release, close the lever, making sure you have proper tension. If you're using a type of brake other than disc, be sure to close your brakes too. Lift the rear wheel and give the bike a quick pedal to ensure everything is running smoothly. Congratulations, you're now flat free. Enjoy the rest of your ride.